Hello fellow crafters, I'm Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and today I wanted to show you an updated room tour. So I did do one last year, probably about May or June time I think, when I first actually uh, set up the room. Um, it did take a long time in the planning so there hasn't been too much change this time. And you can see here just as you walk into the room this is my wall of fabric. I'm going to give you a quick little spin of the room first before I go into detail in all of it and I also do apologise for the waviness of it as well. Um, I'm not used to actually walking around with the camera so I tried to get it as slow as possible. So you can see here this is kind of my little, it's now my stamping station. I um, recently changed this and added some little shells to put on my stamping stuff. And I'm loving this little space now. It's, this is a lot more colourful and useful. Previously it was kind of my cutting station, um, which has now moved over to my desk space. So this side was previously all sewing. My paper crafts have kind of taken over, as you can see, with that little desk area, as well as my little trolley there full of uh, cardstock, pattern cardstock. And this area now is it's a huge window. I've had to put the black oak blind down because it is the middle of summer here in Australia and it just gets too hot, too bright to work. Um, so that is my desk area. The desk is two metres wide. So that does give you a sense of the size of the room. It's not very big at all. And this is one of my favourite parts as well, my pegboard. Again, that just keeps getting changed as, as time goes on. And you can see, like most people, I've used the Calax units from Ikea for the majority of my storage. I also changed the flooring um, last year from carpet to, to this kind of laminate, which is a lot easier to keep clean. And then here, this little unit from Kmart's really good. I've got all kind of my um, traveler notebook inserts in here. I like doing little spreads in these for fun. Um, so that's where I keep my empty ones and my full ones and then I've got a few little travellers notebooks there as well for when I finish them. This space here all along the top is I guess my working project so in the minute we're in the middle of December daily so I've got all of that spread out nice and neat and similarly um, I'm just about to start the one little word project for 2019 so I've got my little insert ready for that and just in the cover. Um, so it, that's a great space to keep things that are ongoing. I love all of the different workspace it does give me having this format. But you can see here, um, I'm just now going to go through the units for you. This is just full of notebooks and so on and some old albums. Here I've got all my 12 by 12 um, pads with the pattern paper. And you can see here, this is just a little shelf that comes from Ikea, it's just some bits and bobs and wooden stamps. And underneath in this tray, I did originally have um, my stamps, um, but it just got too heavy. And then I thought this would be a good way of organising my scraps. One side's patterned and the other side's plain. So I am actually using it a lot more now than I was previously. I'm just lifting that out, putting it on the desk when I start. And you see I've got lots of little paint sample charts from, uh, from Bunnings. Um, which is really useful as well when you just need little bits of colour. So again, this little insert was from Ikea. It fits my coloured paper quite nicely. The majority of those are 12 by 12 as well. And this drawer is just full of random bits of paper and glossy accents, varnishes and so on. Um, there's the acrylic paints. This is full of extra adhesives. Um, just some random bits of stock for that. This drawer, i um, got my old selfie printer that I don't use anymore, plus some stuff that I've got doubled up, some extra stock that I don't need. And again, another thing that I don't really use is these punches and the applicator. So a lot of stuff that I do use regularly, I keep out, so it's within easy reach. This is um, all my kind of watercolour stuff. I've got my glue pen in this little blue, fold, uh, little blue pencil case. And then these are all my stencils, which I've recently become addicted to. So I'm really enjoying those as well. This little unit as well from Ikea. Um, I'm not going to go into much detail with this because the bottom one is just extra inserts for my planners. These are just some of my essential oils. And on the top, as you can see, I've got my label machine with some um, extra supplies as well as my laminator. So I don't use that an awful lot. Um, this little corner I like, it's got my planners in. Um, it's also got um, this little tray which I made with some little dividers for. So this just keeps all my photos in order um, before I come to use them. Um, and just some random ones really. You can see the different ones of the dog, of the family. I've got any for one little word I put to one side till I'm ready to put it in. 
um, just like the quotes the, and Project Life as well as Christmas ones and then I've got fun with some random ones at the back so when I just want to do a spread I like to do the Snapchat ones, Snapchat filter photos. So that's a nice little way of keeping my photos organised. These are my Project Life inserts and I've got, I also keep my 6x8 inserts down at the bottom so they're out of the way but still within easy reach without them being too flat. Now this is just full of Kaiser Craft wooden embellishment things really. Down here it's all general stationary stuff, books and folders and things. I don't go in these drawers very often so having that little trolley there it doesn't really make much difference. This is old um, jewellery making stuff as well as some face paint stuff and here it's a lot of just kind of more gift wrap tissues, uh, gift bags, that kind of thing. Okay so that's the one side of it <clears throat> and then I'm just going to come up and show you this shelving and again this is probably the next thing I'm going to change. Um, so these are my embossing powders and also some glitter and then some sequins and bits at the top. So I'd like this to be a little display unit really for my cards that I make or receive. Uh, I just need to find somewhere to put all of these little bottles first. So apologies again for the waviness of this. Um, again, this was from Ikea, I'm gonna be saying that a lot, but this is where I store all the different types of paper if you like. Um, so I've got my different weighted paper at the bottom and you see here different speciality cards, that's, that's a pad of tracing paper which I use similar as I would for vellum at the top and then here we've just got lots of different pattern papers as well that can be used, they're quite large sheets that I've folded over and I've got this little shelf underneath my pegboard as well, I've got lots of random pens and things, my Mod Podge um, I've got a few alcohol markers but I'm not really a fan so I've not got too many of those and then on my pegboard you can see I've got lots of my gold foil and press ready for my Christmas present that I got. Washi tape, um, that is starting to dwindle. Thankfully I've been using it to try and get rid of it. Um, this is my favourite part of it though, all my Kaiser mists and also my liquid pearls. I use those an awful lot and having them on display and visible really does make it easier. I can look across, see if I've got the right colour or just look across and get inspiration. This little older is cards that I have already made and that needs to go out um, and then this little tray at the back is more for project life um, souvenirs and things that I want to put in when I do my spreads. Um, so this where I keep my heat gun and I always keep a little piece of paper underneath um, to put the powder on to, scoop it back in. This is just a tray of odds and ends. Again I keep it on my desk to try and and use it rather than it just sat somewhere and not being used. This is where I keep on my plugs so they've all got these little tags on so I know what's what um, and it just makes it easier for plugging stuff in rather than having to crawl underneath the desk. But under the desk I do have some more of these little hooks uh, where I keep my fuse tool for example on my pedals for my sewing machine or my serger um, and it keeps it is still looks messy but it does keep them tidy. These little bins were from Kmart, I really like these, these were nice and cheap but they're really sturdy and quite thick and those are all my journaling cards that I use Project Life or, or for making cards. This is a slightly longer one for all my sentiments um, and then the next little tub here is just where I've got different kinds of tags as well. So I keep those separate. At the bottom um, is my alphas, I absolutely love alphas. Um, so I just keep them, trying to keep them in Colorado wherever possible, um, but I don't have too many thankfully. Um, I'm not a hoarder, I know it might look like I've got a lot of stuff, but I don't. I try and make sure I use it before I purchase any more. I'm limited on space and I don't really want to just collect stuff and not use it. Um, these are just chipboard pieces um, that I've got as well. You see I've set up my desk, um, this is another Christmas present that I got which is my little uh, desk turner thing, um, this is really good to keep everything on hand. So in the drawers I used to have all of these things but I was forever going across and opening them. My sewing machine's under there, you see my scoreboard and on these shelves I've got some little pegs of partial bits of ribbon, some scraps and also my sewing needle, knitting needles and crochet needles. Um, and then this little shelf as well, just some stuff that I need to keep to hand. And then this little cabinet which keeps on my thread that, that was made for me, I absolutely love that. 
uh, and my colourful it looks and then this little shelf has lots of little buttons some um, it's for bind making your own binding um, some little super clips for quilting so it's nice I just like having the colour in the room and being able to easily see what I've got and what I haven't got and this little tub is just really full of all my cutting stuff from my serger um, which you can see at the side which I don't use as often as I should and then um, some of my stuff and my diamond press and embossing folders so on this side this is a bit of a catch-all drawer for anything that's sewing related um, and underneath that you'll see here I've got my different sewing feet as well and again because I'm very much a beginner sewer it's good to have all of these because each month I've been challenging myself to use a different foot so I'm really at the practice stage and some more this is, I guess it's what I call my tool trial draw lots of different tools and then under here some scraps that are hiding lots of different patterns mainly ones that I've got from magazines not that I've purchased them separately this draws full of all my um, embroidery all my thread and my hoops lots of work in progress in there that never quite gets finished and then on here I've got um, my zips and binding fabric paints again a bit of a catch-all um, but good to have everything in the one spot and then this is more of I guess a cleaning drawer so I've got disposable gloves when I'm getting messy baby wipes which I'm trying not to use anymore dusting cloth that kind of thing and as I said this is my little trolley full of cardstock this pad here doesn't get used an awful lot which is why it's um, handy to keep the trolley there this is just my books and magazines so I don't really reach for this stuff very often so the trolley is not usually in the way I have to show you this this is my sewing planner I got this last year and I'm still not feeling confident enough to update it um, but this one of the things I do want to do is get into dressmaking um, and that's why I've, I wanted to uh, get that to start to plan that this draws full of felt um, that kind of stuff and you can see here I also keep um, elastics in there as well so I do love these little bins for the Calyx units is a good way of putting a lot of stuff together that can just be bundled in that's some work in progress and different um, tracing papers and things along with the, uh, the other magazines that I've got so I have stopped buying those magazines and then again this is a little trolley and um, these little baskets were from also from Kmart um, this suit the colour of the room really nice these are just um, plastic pockets to store my cards in and these are the cards that I've done uh, just random ones and these are just the blanks ready to to create and then as I said all of my patterns cards at the top these are the six by six six by eight sheets and in the other side I've just got my 6 by 4 separately as well and there are a few little sheets as well that um, I'm not sure what size they are, I think they're 3 by 3 actually so they fit nice and handy and um, there's my little diamond press I only got my big shop for Christmas so you can see I've not got an awful lot of dies that are big enough for that um, and but I'm going to keep them here right now next in handy to the big shop um, that I can use and then at the back of that I've also got hot foils and then a few embossing folders as well and there she is my big shop my pride of place um, and you can see I've got my little um, caddy at the side which has some stuff this little whiteboard is just where I can make notes for myself things I want to do um, and then these are just apologies for that these are just some um, rulers as well on the wall so this is my little creative station that I, where I do all my stamping and colouring in as well. Um, you can see I've not got an awful lot of paints, but um, I, you know I've got the main colours that I need. This little cardboard I covered in some um, adhesive paper just so I don't ruin the desk with any stamping. And you can see these little shelves here, what mine has been made. So they're really handy for getting extra storage on the desk. And this is where I keep my stamps, my clear stamps, um, and I'm just storing them the way many people do on uh, YouTube that I've seen. These Avriel pockets keep the stamp at the front and any coordinating die at the back. And where I've done extras, I've just put them in the same pocket as well. So I just sort these by types. I don't have too many stamps to actually do it by brand. There's only the long form that I'm keeping separate by brand. 
and Christmas as well and then these are just basically in order so I can easily find what I need to. It's my little ribbon holder and then there's my mannequin as well for sewing and this corner at the bottom is a little bit messy but um, the blue tub is where I keep all my Christmas stuff um, once it's put away and then I've also got the tub at the top is full of stuff for children and then there's knitting stuff as well underneath that. Um, underneath my desk, you're probably wondering what that blue thing is, that's a little curling mat for the dog. There's also a little quilt under as well for him, depending what time of year um, it is. So he likes to go under the desk as I'm creating. So that said, it does look a little bit messy because everything's out, but that's the reality of a craft room. You can see I don't have too much space for anything else, but I know if I needed to, I could just buy some of the legs for the units and then I can have extra storage space underneath. So I, th I think I've got room to grow. If I needed to, I could remove the big quilting wall at the back there. That helps me with my patterns and put extra storage. But for now, I'm really pleased with the functionality of the room. It really works for me having everything on the same level. With the room being quite small, I think it would be too... Um, crowded if, if I had tall units as I've seen some people have I like to keep it nice and bright and airy as well so I hope you enjoyed that little tour um, hopefully it wasn't too long and if you like what you see please come back and join me again for future videos thank you for stopping by